Hi everyone, if you are a WordPress developer, chances are you sometimes need to create a working environment for testing purposes. You could create an online website for testing, but it's more convenient to have a local platform to create as many testing websites as possible. Today, I'm going to show you DevKinsta, which is the newest way to locally design, develop, and test WordPress projects. The team at Kinsta has created DevKinsta, a set of local development tools for Mac and Windows. It is not necessary to be a Kinsta customer in order to use it. DevKinsta is open to everyone and is absolutely free. DevKinsta simplifies your development process by allowing you to create local sites with a single click. Use it for offline development, plugin creation, and theme development, and test and debug your projects with the built-in email tool and database management. DevKinsta, like I previously stated, is for everyone. If you're a Kinsta user, though, you can quickly push and pull your sites to your MyKinsta dashboard at kinsta.com. In this video today, I am going to show you how to install DevKista on your computer. My name is Nick, and I am on the team at wpgopro.com. We assist you with improving your WordPress skills so you can make more money for yourself, your clients, and your business. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, give the video a thumbs up so Google knows it was helpful to you. Let's get started with the video now. My computer is a Mac, so in this tutorial I am following the steps for a Mac installation. If you are a Windows user, the steps are similar. So, the first step is to go to https colon slash slash kinsta.com slash devkinsta slash download. Then click download for Mac or download for Windows, depending on your computer. In my case, I selected the Mac version. The DevKinsta app gets downloaded, and the next step is to install it by double-clicking it. Now, I run the DevKinsta app and it asks me to also download the Docker app. So, click on Download Docker. Docker is an open platform for developing, shipping, and running applications. The Kinsta team uses the Docker platform, so it is required for running DevKinsta. It is free and you don't even have to register to use it. For Mac users, there are two options, and I clicked on Mac with Apple chip. Alright, the download has been completed and I am installing the app in the Applications folder. Now I run the Docker app and I need to give access to it, but my password is required. Okay, once again, I run the Docker app. I accept its terms, and next, the installation starts. This line of code in the middle needs to be run in the terminal, so copy it. Now I paste the line into the terminal and I click enter. The Docker's installation is now completed. I go back to the DevKinsta app and I click Retry. This step may take a few minutes. In my case, I had been waiting for about 10 minutes, then I thought it was stuck and I force killed it. However, it seems like everything was done as it was supposed to be. I hope it works better for you. We can see that right now. So, I first ran the Docker app. Now I run the DevKinsta app and you get three options for creating a new site in DevKinsta. First, the new WordPress site option, which will create a vanilla WordPress install with Nginx, PHP, and MySQL, along with the latest stable version of WordPress core. Second, the import from Kinsta option, which lets you duplicate a site hosted at Kinsta on your local computer. Third, the custom site option, which lets you create a local site with a specific PHP version, database name, multi-site support, and more. In this video, I am not going to go into full details of the tool. If you want, I can create another tutorial covering the details, so leave your comments below if you want me to do so. Just to check that everything is alright with the installation, let's create a website. So click on New WordPress Site. For example, Type in the site name, demo1, and the admin name. Also, you need to type in the admin's password. 
Next, click Create Site. Again, this may take 3 to 4 minutes to create the site. It asks for permission to add the domain to the host's file of your computer, so type your password. The site has been created and you can see it if you click on Open Site. Here you go. By clicking on WP Admin, you can access the WordPress dashboard by typing in the admin's credentials. So, everything is fine, and this tutorial is now completed. At this stage, I would like to tell you that Kinsta is a cloud-based host, offering managed WordPress plans with server power and optimization that you won't find anywhere else. So, if you're looking for a faster and more reliable host for your WordPress website, or if you want to launch your new site on managed WordPress hosting, Kinsta comes highly recommended. If you want to become a Kinsta customer, I will leave the link below. It is an affiliate link, so if you purchase it using the link, I may receive a small commission. However, there is no additional charge to you. This helps me continue to create the free content that I publish. If you liked this video and you don't want to miss my weekly videos related to WordPress and business online, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Also, leave your comments below. My name is Nick and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have fun with it till next time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and health.